Good morning. <coughs> Next is uh, set mechanism. Set mechanism. Set mechanism is a single electron transfer mechanism. Single electron transfer mechanism. What is set mechanism? There are certain nucleophilic substitution reactions in which actually free radicals or ions are involved. So free radicals or ions involving nucleophilic substitution reactions. The mechanism involving in such nucleophilic substitution reactions are called a set mechanism. The first step in set mechanism is the transfer of an electron from the nucleophile into the substrate molecule to form radical anion. So what do you mean by set mechanism? Uh, in set mechanism, the nucleophilic substitution reaction is taking place due to the involvement of involvement of involvement of radicals radical free radicals or uh, ions free radicals or uh, ions the first step in a uh, set mechanism is the transfer of an electron from the nucleophile into the substrate molecule so step one step one look at it here this is our substrate molecule rx plus our nucleophile is y minus in the first step the transfer of an electron from the nucleophile this is our uh, nucleophile this is our uh, substrate molecule and uh, you can see that uh, an electron from the nucleophile y minus means y minus means actually it's a pair of electron oh minus or uh, y minus this is our nucleophile that means it's a pair of electron transfer of an electron from the nucleophile into the substrate molecule to form radical anion. So what do we get? We get Rx with uh, a single electron and a negative charge plus what will form? We get uh, Y free radical. Y free radical. So minus means it's a pair of electron. One electron. So this is uh, Y minus. This is our nucleophile. That means it's a pair of electron. One electron will be transferred into the substrate molecule and we get uh, radical radical anion anion and our uh, Y free radical. So what you will get? Uh, this electron will be transferred here and you get uh, Y free radical and this radical anion. So this is the first step uh, in which the, if the mechanism is proceed through uh, set mechanism. So the reactions or uh, the nucleophilic substitution reaction in which if the reaction is taking place with the formation of a radical or radical ion the mechanism in involving in such nucleophilic substitution reactions is known as a set mechanism so the first step is the transfer of an electron from the nucleophile from the nucleophile into the substrate molecule to form radical anion and uh, free radical so this type of mechanism if a mechanism is starting with uh, uh, this uh, formation of a radical uh, that type of mechanism is known as a set mechanism now in the second step what is happening look at the second step step two Step 2. The radical anion, this anion is uh, unstable and uh, it will undergo immediate uh, cleavage. So in the second step, the radical anion will undergo cleavage. So look at it here, Rx, okay, with a single electron and a negative charge because one electron is coming and it is getting a negative charge, single electron with a negative charge. So it will undergo cleavage, it will undergo cleavage, so what will happen? This will undergo cleavage, one electron will be, uh, will uh, come to R and uh, you can see that what do we get? We get R free radical plus what will form? X, X is getting uh, uh, electron back, so it will change into X 
minus it is uh, getting back one more electron and there is a pair of electron or you can simply show x minus so this is the second step formation of a r free radical now in the final step this free radical can go to the final product what do you mean by final product rx this x will be replaced by y that is what is our uh, final product now you can see that in the step 3 in the step 3 step 3 look at it here step 3 this radical can go to the final product by combining with the y free radical formed in the first step that is one method so this free radical step r r free radical will combine with the y free radical formed in the first step so this is y free radical they will join together and you get the final product r y here the nucleophilic substitution reaction is uh, taken place so you can see that x is replaced by uh, y okay or this can go to the final product by the uh, reaction of the free radical with the original uh, the reaction of the this free radical with the original uh, nucleophile that means uh, this way the reaction can be completed or what will happen this r free radical will combine with the original nucleophile that means y minus and what you will get look at it here look at it here again what we get is a pair of electron and what we get uh, one electron will join with the, uh, this uh, so you get r y and with a single electron and a negative charge how it is forming so y minus means a pair of electron these two will join together and r y and uh, there will be a single electron with a negative charge uh, or uh, or you can say that r y uh, this anion will combine with uh, our substrate r x and what we get uh, we get uh, r y our final product plus r x that means uh, the radical anion so this way also the reaction can be completed such mechanism this type of mechanism is known as a set mechanism so there are certain nucleophilic substitution reaction in uh, in such reactions the substitution is taking place via uh, or the by the involvement of a free radical or uh, ions the mechanism operating in such reaction is called set mechanism single electron transfer mechanism the first step in the set mechanism is the transfer of an electron from the nucleophile into the substrate molecule and we get a radical anion in the second step the radical anion will undergo cleavage and we get r free radical uh, okay and in the final step this r free radical will go to the uh, final product by combining with uh, y free radical formed in the first step or this r free radical can combine with the original nucleophile uh, and will form the final product okay so that's all about the set mechanism thank you we continue in the next class